Hi, my name is Bertrand Dirk, and today we'll be discussing about trigeminal neuralgia. We'll discuss about what trigeminal neuralgia is, whether you suffer from trigeminal neuralgia, and how you can help your own symptoms. Now, trigeminal neuralgia is a chronic pain condition that affects one or more branches of the trigeminal nerve, which carries sensations from your face and scalp to your brain. If you suffer from trigeminal neuralgia, you will typically have pain that is unilaterally on one side of the face that can extend all the way to the front of the face. Now, each attack may last anywhere from a fraction of a second up to two minutes and occasionally longer. It may present as either a shock-like pain, a sharp stabbing pain, a shooting or a sharp pain on one side of the face. Now, the frequency of attacks can last from um, anywhere between 1 to 50 times a day. The pain is almost always severe in nature and may become more severe over time. Sufferers may also experience tearing or redness in the eye on the same side as the pain. Sufferers of trigeminal neuralgia are often extremely hypersensitive and report that slight stimuli such as touching the face, brushing the teeth, chewing or even speaking can cause painful attacks, sometimes lasting as little as seconds or as long as minutes. Now typically the condition is more common in women than men, 60% of the times more common in women than men and is more likely to occur in people aged over 50 years old. Now, let's talk about the anatomy of the trigeminal nerve. Now, the trigeminal nerve is primarily a sensory nerve. The trigeminal nerve has three branches responsible for innervating different areas of the face and the scalp. And you can have pain in any of these three different branches. The first branch is called the ophthalmic branch, which innervates the area around the eyes, the front of the nose, and into the forehead and the top of the scalp. <clears throat> now the second branch is the maxillary branch, which innervates the area from the front of the temple down to the cheeks and to the upper lip. The third branch is called mandibular branch, which innervates the remainder of the temple and the jaw, and is also responsible for the motor functions associated with chewing. Now, trigeminal neuralgia may affect any of these branches of the trigeminal nerve. Hence, you may have only pain in and around the forehead or the eye, or more around the cheek, or more around the jaw. Depending on the area of where you get your trigeminal neuralgia pain can determine exactly which branch is affected. <clears throat> Now let's discuss the different types of trigeminal neuralgia. There are three. The first one is called classic trigeminal neuralgia. This subcategory of trigeminal neuralgia refers to a patient that develops this disorder without apparent cause or apart from the neurovascular compression. This means that the nerve itself has become damaged as a result of compression from the vascular system, for example, the veins and the arteries. Now, this normally happens at the site of the nerve root, in the brainstem. Classic trigeminal neuralgia can further be split into purely paroxysmal and with concomitant continuous pain. The former being associated with pain-free periods between attacks, and the latter being associated with more mild pain between attacks. Now the second type is something called a secondary trigeminal neuralgia. This subcategory refers to a patient that develops disorder as a result of an underlying disease. Recognises causes are multiple sclerosis, a tumour in the brain, or a malformation in the blood vessels. The third type is called idiopathic trigeminal neuralgia. Now, this category refers to a patient that experiences symptoms consistent with trigeminal neuralgia. However, they demonstrate no obvious abnormalities via electrophysical tests or even MRIs. Now, this diagnosis, like 
classic trigeminal neuralgia may suggest pathology of the brainstem. Trigeminal neuralgia may also be split into two, that is purely proximal and with concomitant continuous pain. The former being associated with pain-free periods between attacks and the latter being um, having pain in between attacks. Now, continuous pain in between severe attacks is seen in around half of all trigeminal neuralgia sufferers. That means these sufferers will have severe attacks, but when the severe attacks are gone, they will still have some type of pain or dysfunction in the head and the face. Now, it is not uncommon for trigeminal neuralgia sufferers to go underdiagnosed for long periods of time or even mismanaged as the symptoms presented can be similar to those with migraine headaches or even cluster headaches. So, what is the cause of trigeminal neuralgia? Often the case is that trigeminal neuralgia have issues in the trigeminal cervical nucleus. Now the trigeminal cervical nucleus is located down low in the neck in the brainstem. Usually the trigeminal cervical nucleus is hypersensitive, irritable, due to an irritation in the neck, which then can create pain that shoots all the way up and over into the head, and can go into any of the three branches that we've mentioned before. Because of this, things such as brushing your teeth, touching the face, or even chewing can be extremely painful for those with trigeminal um, neuralgia. So what we recommend is that you do have a thorough assessment from an expert who deals with chronic headaches or migraines or even trigeminal neuralgia. It is highly important that you do get the right diagnosis. Once you have the right diagnosis and once you know what the cause is, then treatment can commence. Now there are safe treatments that can treat and target trigeminal neuralgia and can manage and prevent future attacks from coming on. For further information, feel free to call us on 1-800-HEADACHE or even email us. My name is Bertrand Dirk and I hope you have learnt a lot of information about trigeminal neuralgia.